Hi everyone, welcome to Artsy with Mo, where we turn trash into treasure. Well, it's officially sea turtle nesting season here in Florida, so I thought today we would make our very own recycled sea turtle hatchlings. So let's get started. So a sea turtle hatchling, when they first hatch out of the egg, they're about this size, okay? Their eggs are only a little bit larger than a ping pong ball, and depending on the species, they can get up to a thousand pounds, which is just incredible the journey that these guys take. So we're gonna make our own little hatchlings. Okay, so the fun thing about making recycled sea turtle hatchlings is that you can use a wide variety of materials. So some of my former students have done some fun things using egg cartons and foam. Okay, we've got this guy here who's uh, bottle caps, cotton balls, foam, pom-poms. Yeah, this guy who's so creative, which is a um, an old light bulb, googly eyes. I'm missing a googly eye on this one. Some foam. So you really can get creative with this. So what I'm going to be using today for our sea turtle hatchling is a um, slightly larger um, plastic bottle cap. Okay, two slightly smaller bottle caps. These are going to represent the head. This one's going to represent the shell. Okay, piece of cardboard that's going to represent the scoots, which are plates on top of the shell that I'll talk about in just a sec. Okay, I'm going to be using for the flippers and the tail, I'm going to use uh, pieces of sponge. Okay, um, whenever I'm done with a sponge, I clean it really well and then let it dry and then they make for really fun craft materials. Okay, you also need a sharpie, you need some scissors and you need some glue. Now I'm gonna be using hot glue today. It's just much easier to glue the, um, the bottle caps with the hot glue, okay? So make sure you get permission before you use the hot glue and that you're really, really careful because if you're like me and you've burned yourself before, you know it's no fun, okay? Um, so we're gonna use the hot glue today and see what we come up with, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do is make the shell, okay? Now if you guys check this out, this is a shell from a green sea turtle, which is the second largest sea turtle and the second most common turtle that we have nesting on our beaches. So many cool things about a turtle shell. If you look on the back, okay, or underneath, you'll notice that that's actually the turtle's backbone, okay? And these are their ribs. Okay. If you look at this side, you're gonna notice these um, special scales called scoots, okay? Now the scoots are made out of the same stuff as our fingernails, keratin, and the shell is made out of bone, okay? So this is gonna represent our shell, and then our cardboard is gonna represent our scoots, okay? So I'm gonna, gonna take this, I'm going to just trace the top of my larger bottle cap, okay, and I'm gonna cut it out. Now, looking at a sea turtle shell is an easy way to identify the species of sea turtle, okay? So, for example, loggerhead sea turtles, which are our most common turtle here, okay, they have what's called, uh, they have five lateral scoots down the side, and green sea turtles have four, and I'll show you. Okay, so again, this is that green sea turtle shell. These scoots along the side, are called lateral scoots. And you can see our green sea turtle has four on each side, and then they have five scoots down the middle. Now the loggerhead has five lateral scoots on each side, okay? So, when you add your scoots, it's up to you if you wanna make a um, loggerhead or a green hatchling, okay? So it's gonna depend on how many scoots that you put on either side. So I believe 
I am gonna just make a green sea turtle since we've got the shell right here. I was thinking of doing a loggerhead because this is gonna look like the head is really big. So a loggerhead's got a big old head. Sailors uh, supposedly back in the day would see what they thought was a log and they'd say, loggerhead. And that's where the name loggerhead sea turtle came from, um, that big old head. So mine might be a little bit of a combo of both, right? But I'm gonna do four scoots on the side, so I'm just going to divide my the top part of my shell into three sections. And then down the middle, I'm gonna divide it into five. And down on the sides, I'm gonna divide it into four. Okay. All right. So we got our green sea turtle scoots. So I'm gonna just use the hot glue and glue this down to the top of my carapace. Okay. All right, we've got our shell. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our head, okay? So remember, a green sea turtle doesn't have as big of a head as a logger head, but we're gonna, um, they have these two scoots in the middle of their eyes, so that's a kind of a neat way to identify a green sea turtle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with these guys is I'm going to glue them together, okay? Now this is where you wanna be really careful and not burn yourself, and you just want to put a thin layer of glue as best as you can right around the edge. Okay, and then glue your other one to it. Hold it on there for a second. All right, and then we're gonna glue it to the front of our turtle, okay? All right. All right, he's getting there. I'm gonna hold that on. Now when I make my crafts, I challenge myself to use 100% recycled materials, okay? Um, and I don't have any googly eyes to recycle at the moment. So rather than buying new ones and putting them on there, I'm simply going to just draw in the eyes. Just going to use a Sharpie. You guys know I love Sharpies. <laughs> I'm just going to add some pupils. You could use pom-poms here, you could use googly eyes if you wanted to, or you could also challenge yourself to do 100% recycled. All right, so now we just want to add his flippers and his tail and he will be good to go. He or she, we're not quite sure. When they're babies or hatchlings, you can't tell. When they get to be full grown, the males have a really long tail and the females have a short tail. So, I pick this little piece up first. I'm just going to cut the end off. Just make that the tail. So, I'm just going to glue the tail right onto the end. Doesn't really matter what order you do any of this in, guys. Okay. All right, he's got his tail. And now we want to cut his flippers. Now this is one easy way to tell a sea turtle from other types of turtles is by looking at their flippers, okay? So they don't have feet at all, right? They've got modified flippers so they can swim in the ocean and they're really amazing swimmers. And so we're gonna be making their front two flippers and their back two. And so of course you'll notice that they don't have any any webbing, any toes. It's a completely a flipper, which is so neat to me. Um, the back flippers are much smaller than the front ones. We call these in the front pectoral flippers, okay? Pectoral, like our pectoral muscles. And um, the, if we were to take an x-ray of this uh, of a sea turtle flipper, we would actually see bones very similar to our bones in our hands. Okay, so I'm gonna just, Basically, you just want to cut like a little teardrop shape. You guys know none of these crafts have to be perfect. So I'm just picking my two largest pieces of sponge. Okay. 
just to make little kind of teardrop shapes. I'm going to glue those to the front of my sea turtle hatchling. Okay. Hold it on for a second. Always turn it out so cute. Okay. All right, I'm going to add the other one. And you want to kind of put the larger, like, end of the teardrop towards the front. Let that fin come down to a point. And then I'm just going to use a couple of these little scraps and do the same thing for the back ones. Okay. All right. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm gonna glue those right on. Although, you guys, my tail is smaller than my back flippers. <laughs> so I think I'm going to change the tail. Because, again, he's just a, a, it's just a little hatchling. We don't know yet if it's a boy or a girl. Okay, so I'm going to pull my tail off <laughs> if I can. And I'm going to take this little tiny piece. All right. Yes. Oh my goodness, you guys. Check him out. <laughs> I put his head on a little crooked, but. <laughs> so we have our very own little recycled sea turtle hatchlings. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you visit the beach this summer, you can help out these hatchlings simply by filling in your holes and knocking down your sandcastles when you leave the beach. And of course, reducing your plastic use, okay? So we, I wanted to make these guys out of plastic just to kind of show that plastic does pose a pretty bad threat to these little guys. Um, if it gets out in the ocean, uh, they, they might mistake it for food and try to eat some of that plastic. Um, so you want to do your part and reduce, re reduce, reuse, and recycle, right? And of course, upcycle, make these crafts. Well, I hope you've enjoyed making a recycled hatchling with us today. Um, please post a picture of your creation. We'd love to see what you came up with. Hashtag ArtsyWithMoat. And have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.